decided to come to an art school, you know, as such, rather than like a college or university, because I figured that um, I really wanted to, you know, explore art and the art I could create. And I figured that, like in a, a college or a university, like, it, I could take art courses, but they'd more or less just be on the side, and I'd probably have to be more concerned with academics as such. And uh, I didn't have much of an art, art background, and I really wanted to just go right into like an art school, so I would be able to find out for myself, you know, a lot of things that I wasn't sure of yet. And uh, I find here that being in an art community, and I think that's really the main thing, is the poor community because like you're around artists and stuff like that, you can really have an interchange of ideas. Well, I think my, my main reason for coming first off was uh, to be in an atmosphere that was rather professional and uh, where the studio hours in ratio to the academics were greater. Uh, I was mostly interested in sculpture. I was heading for a place that had facilities that would be in my favor. Um, Kansas City was my choice out of the schools I applied to. I applied to Carnegie Mellon in uh, Pittsburgh. And uh, the academic load there was, was too much for me. I prefer more studio hours and teachers that are interested in, in, uh, in, in their artwork and teaching students what they know. Coming to the Midwest was quite a transition. Not like New York City where people had yeah. I found I came here and I didn't know anybody. And I got off the plane and immediately there was somebody there to help me. That's how Kansas City has been ever since I got here. My father like went to Bowdoin College up in Maine and he, he kind of wanted me to go there and I had applied there. But the more I thought of it, the more I... I decided that you know, college and university really wouldn't be good for me, that I really needed an art school as such. And they were really good in the fact that um, they respected my decision. I can't even remember what I felt like when I found out that I was coming to Kansas City. I had never been further west than Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Experience. Most of us were exposed to things that wouldn't even think would be art. I ended up doing dance, theater, most things that I'd never been exposed to in high school. And I found that it, it helped me to establish what I wanted to do exactly when I came to be a sophomore. Foundations, I think, is really, for me, it's been pretty good because it's a pretty open department. There's a lot of freedom and uh, you really allow to work in any medium you want, as long as you can like justify it. And for me, it's really been good because I've been able to explore a lot of things that I hadn't done before. In my foundation year, I learned quite a bit about attitudes, about about hard work and how to approach it. And I 
feel that this has been more beneficial to me than anything, uh, any experience I've, I've had up until now, that I'm on my own doing my own work. Um, first of all, I don't think I would have gotten any of this experience in a college. It's, it's far more looser, much more loose, and I have the ability to, to do my own thinking more than I would, I feel, in a university. I have more freedom of movement about the campus, freedom to float in and out of departments and, and work in whatever media I choose. Of, of art history and painting to uh, 
to realize that in, in many ways everything we are doing today is just a continuum. are you doing out here? We're here digging a pit and uh, been here for, how long have we been here now? Been Tuesday. here since 5 o'clock Sunday, Sunday, yeah, Sunday, which is really Friday. And today is now Sunday and we are leaving tomorrow at 8 o'clock, which is Monday, which is really Wednesday. And we have well been here a total of 63 hours. This is all weekend called Weekend. And part of that time we have been here digging this pit. <laughs> no, we're doing Jeez. group activities and individual projects for the, so we can draw an audience, which is part of the theater workshop. Are. That's what we're trying to do. And this one is group activity. 
but we each have individual projects. That what, we is, do. what is your project? What's mine? Yeah. Mine is drawing for when I like it'll be drawing for an hour, an hour drawing, and after each hour I'll be changing my wear for the next drawing, my dress. So I'll be in a different outfit for every drawing I do. Jack, what's your uh, project? Well, I was going to send some messages out to space. Hi, David. Uh, you ought to come get some pictures of me. My decision to go into photography was a reserved one because I knew that I didn't know anything. And a lot of people here already established themselves in what they were doing. And I found, as a freshman, I come into the building and wouldn't know where the dark room was, what an enlarger looked like, or anything like that. And uh, people just were very friendly and I said, well, this is what you do or this is what you don't do. And there's a, an amazing amount of sharing of knowledge. And that now as a sophomore, I find the program gets more intense and the things you need to know become so much more extensive that the help extends itself along with what you are asking. I chose design because uh, I figured it might be the department closest to like the ideas and foundations and that there's a lot of freedom there too in working with different mediums like this year was the first time I ever worked with photography and stuff and I'll be able to use that in design as well as uh, other things instead of going to like maybe painting and just photography as a department where there I'd be more or less limited to that one medium and I think design carries over the same ideas that foundations has as far as uh, conceptual art and things like that. And I think it, for me, it will give me a still a background and a basis which I'm, I still need before, like maybe junior, senior year, I might go into something like sculpture or something like that. It's not when I have my ideas more defined for myself.
decided to come to an art school, you know, as such, rather than like a college or a university, because I figured that um, I really wanted to, you know, explore art and the art I could create. And I figured that, like in a, a college or a university, like, it, I could take art courses, but they'd more or less just be on the side, and I'd probably have to be more concerned with academics as such. And uh, I didn't have much of an art, art background, and I really wanted to just go right into like an art school, so I would be able to find out for myself, you know, a lot of things that I wasn't sure of yet. And uh, I find here that being in an art community, and I think that's really the main thing, is the art community because. Like you're around artists and stuff like that, you can really have an interchange of ideas. Well, I think my my main reason for coming, first off, was uh, to be in an atmosphere that was rather professional, and uh, where the studio hours and ratio of the academics were greater. Um, I was mostly interested in sculpture. I was heading for a place that had facilities that would be in my favor. Um, Kansas City was my choice out of the schools I applied to. I applied to Carnegie Mellon in uh, Pittsburgh. And uh, the academic load there was, was too much for me. I prefer more studio hours and teachers that are interested in, uh, in, in their artwork and teaching students what they know. Coming to the Midwest was quite a transition. Not like New York City where people had me. Yeah. I found I came here and I didn't know anybody. And I got off the plane and immediately there was somebody there to help me. That's how Kansas City has been ever since I got here. My father like went to Bowdoin College up in Maine and he, he kind of wanted me to go there and I'd apply there. But the more I thought of it, the more I... I decided that you know, if college and university really wouldn't be good for me, that I really needed an art school as such. And they were really good in the fact that um, they respected my decision. I can't even remember what I felt like when I found out that I was coming to Kansas City, that I'd never been further west than Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. wouldn't even think would be art. I ended up doing dance, theater, most things that I'd never been exposed to in high school. And I found that it, it helped me to establish what I wanted to do exactly when I came to be a sophomore. Foundations, I think, is really, for me, it's been pretty good because it's a pretty open department. There's a lot of freedom and uh, you really allow to work in any medium you want as long as you can like justify it. And for me, it's really been good because I've been able to explore a lot of things that I hadn't done before. In my foundation year, I learned quite a bit about attitudes about, about artwork and how to approach it. And I 
feel that this has been more beneficial to me than anything, uh, any experience I've, I've had up until now, that I'm on my own doing my own work. Um, first of all, I don't think I would have gotten any of this experience in a college. It's, it's far more looser, much more loose, and I have the ability to, to do my own thinking more than I would, I feel, in a university. I have more freedom of movement about campus, freedom to float in and out of departments and, and work in whatever media I choose.
to realize that in, in many ways everything we are doing today is just a continuum. are you doing out here? We're here digging a pit and uh, been here for, how long have we been here now? Been Tuesday. here since 5 o'clock Sunday, Sunday, yeah, Sunday, which is really Friday. And today is now Sunday and we are leaving tomorrow at 8 o'clock, which is Monday, which is really Wednesday. And we have well been here a total of 63 hours. This and is for, all weekend called Weekend. And part of that time we have been here digging this pit. <laughs> no, we're doing Jeez. group activities and individual projects for the, so we can draw an audience, which is part of the theater what workshop. Are. That's what we're trying to do. And this one is group activity. 
but we each have individual projects. That what, we is, what is your project? What's mine? Yeah. Mine is drawing for when I like it'll be drawing for an hour, an hour drawing, and after each hour I'll be changing my wear for the next drawing, my dress. So I'll be in a different outfit for every drawing I do. Jack, what's your uh, project? Well, I was going to send some messages out to space. Uh, you ought to come get some pictures of them. My decision to go into photography was a reserved one because I knew that I didn't know anything. And a lot of people here already established themselves in what they were doing. And I found, as a freshman, I come into the building and wouldn't know where the dark room was, what an enlarger looked like, or anything like that. And uh, people just were very friendly and I said, well, this is what you do or this is what you don't do. And there's a, an amazing amount of sharing and knowledge. And I'm not now as a sophomore, I find the program gets more intense and the things you need to know become so much more extensive that the help extends itself along with what you are asking. I chose design because uh, I figured it might be the department closest to like the ideas and foundations and that there's a lot of freedom there too in working with different mediums like this year was the first time I ever worked with photography and stuff and I'll be able to use that in design as well as uh, other things instead of going to like maybe painting and just photography as a department where there I'd be more or less limited to that one medium and I think design carries over the same ideas that foundations has as far as uh, conceptual art and things like that. And I think it, for me, it will give me a still a background and a basis which I'm, I still need before, like maybe junior, senior year, I might go into something like the sculpture or something like that. There's not when I have my ideas more defined for myself.
of Atchison, Kansas, he still finds inspiration for his best work. A successful artist like Falter combines his natural talent with several years training at a professional school, such as this one, that has as its sole function the development of the talented in both fine and applied arts. Since 1887, young men and women have been coming here from every state and from many foreign countries to study. The atmosphere of the tree-shaded campus with its 38 studios favors artistic accomplishment. Helping the young artists gain the technical facility and direction for creative work is a carefully chosen faculty of artist educators, practicing artists who work in the fields they teach. Directly across the street from the main campus is Goff House, residence hall for women. A first-year student who has been accepted for enrollment is welcomed by her prospective roommate. She meets the house mother and some of the other girls who live in the school-owned dormitory. In these pleasant, home-like surroundings, she will live, study, and plan her future, make new friends, enjoy the companionship of young people with interests and ambitions akin to her own. Class time for the young artist. No matter whether it's an oil painting or a newspaper advertisement, the artist is concerned with the analysis and the visual presentation of shapes and form. Hence, drawing is a prescribed course. Life drawing, imaginative drawing, and object drawing which demands close observation and careful rendering of natural forms. Design, the appreciation, seeing, and understanding of design as it exists in nature and the world, and the creation of new designs. Three-dimensional concepts are worked out in clay, all basic experiences. An art institute gains added strength from nearby colleges and aesthetic resources. Those seeking degrees in art or a teacher certificate to combine their professional studies in art with liberal art studies at University of Kansas City or the Junior College of Kansas City, with special subjects available at Rockhurst and St. Teresa's Colleges and the Conservatory of Music of Kansas City. Adjacent to the school is the William Rockhill Nelson Gallery of Art. The student's class card is his key to this one of the great art treasure houses of the world, where he may spend unlimited hours in studying and enjoying representative masterpieces of all ages. Class tours are scheduled regularly. A group of sculpture students with their instructor inspects one of the gallery's most distinguished exhibits, a 14th century bronze statue of a Hindu Brahmatic god and an exquisite example of 12th century Buddhist sculpture in the temple room of the Chinese gallery. With new vision, sculpture students resume their studies in the studio devoted to this purpose. They work sometimes in clay designed to be fired or cast, sometimes carving in wood or stone, developing sculptural ideas and expressing them in appropriate materials. A large art library with more than 3,500 volumes on art topics, some 5,500 colored slides of artworks, prints, periodicals, and clipping collections furthers the education of the art student. Painting in all its varied forms presents the artist's responses to his environment, his interpretations and evaluations of things, events, nature, even his fellow man. Since these interpretations vary widely from one individual to another, so will the resulting paintings. Some will lean toward realism, others toward abstractions. However, all are charged with human feeling and meanings. Art is made by man for man. 
flourishing in a democracy where the human personality counts. The unique approaches of each student are guided by artists who themselves have achieved recognition. Supervised field trips to points of pickle the class members prefer to paint an interesting old house. Others turn to farm scenes. And the cities, buildings, shops, store windows, and people also contribute to the young artist's education. Explorations into the graphic arts in night school classes provide the student with new avenues of expression. Prints are made in a variety of media. In lithography, the student artist works with a grease pencil on limestone from the Varian Alps. The study of value and form in composition is emphasized and the techniques for creating various textures, tones, and lights. The student is made familiar with methods for treating the drawing and stone preparatory to printing. In making etchings, a sharp needle-like instrument is used in drawing through the wax coating on the copper plate. These lines become etched when exposed to acid, forming grooves in the plate that catch the ink. And after warming the plate, applying ink and rubbing the plate with the hand to remove excess ink, the impression is transmitted to a dampened sheet of paper. Today is an age of machines, moving parts, precision, cleanness of design. All are expressive of modern man and open up new opportunities for the artist in industrial design. Hand sculpture helps one devise new shapes and forms that are pleasant to touch and feel. It humanizes material. It's art and science rather than mere technology. Experiments are made in the nature of materials. By cutting and folding of paper, knowledge is gained of structures. Shop practice paves the way for new production techniques and processes. The industrial designer does not merely manipulate machines, but directs them for the benefit of man. Hard at work in the print shop, but these students are not learning to become typesetters or pressmen, but are becoming familiar with type and its proper use in advertising art a significant practical field that has much to do with the thinking and buying habits of people. Advertising design includes not only layout, lettering, and commercial techniques, but also package design, a study highlighted by conferences with business leaders, such as this president of a large meatpacking concern. The school and the instructors maintain close contact with the professional world in art, industry, and business. Good design is printed salesmanship. Potter's wheel, 
ancient tool of the artist, symbol of the tremendous field of ceramics. Though ceramics includes countless articles made of fired clay, bathtubs, spark plugs, false teeth, the education of an artist usually is devoted to those aspects where beauty is combined with utility in the making of vases and other objects of ceramic sculpture. In this field, which is based on the behavior of clay in the presence of water and fired at high temperatures, the aesthetic and technical are securely merged, a challenging combination of chemistry, engineering, and art. As old as the world, ceramics have been brought to a high state of excellence through improved techniques. study is made of the materials. The preparation of the glazes from raw materials is an absorbing branch of the art. A thorough knowledge of ceramic oxides, glaze calculations and formulas gives the student control over all aspects of glaze qualities. With the aid of steel balls, the raw materials may be ground so fine that the glaze will pass freely through the small aperture of the spray gun. is applied to ready the pieces for the kiln. Fire fixed for eternal beauty. What constitutes a tasteful room is brought out in interior design. The function of color, proper use of period styles and traditional motifs help develop a sense of good design. Here the student's education is attuned to present day living. Architectural structure is studied together with historic period decoration so complete interiors may be developed. A class problem in textile design. and one student's solution to it. Technical perfection in the making of renderings is imperative from the practical as well as aesthetic viewpoint. Time out for fun. Hijinks in the colorful student parade in the student council's annual Beaux Arts Day. Decadent art is burned in effigy as a prelude to the variety show and costume ball. Highlights of a well-balanced student recreational and social program. The world of fashion and its day-to-day -day interpreters, the fashion illustrators. Color renderings of clothes and accessories alert the student to specific commercial and creative aspects of this billion dollar a month business. The artist with originality, a feeling for line, texture, color, and a creative attitude towards style finds dress design rich in its rewards. History of costume. Major developments in the costume field of interest to the designer.
The business suit of a man in ancient Athens is adapted by a student designer in this swimming suit in Rome. The costume wing of the Kansas City Museum is a research source. This dress was worn at the Court of St. James in 1875. The dress designer learns by doing. From an original design, the making and use of patterns is a preliminary step. Draping. Muslin is cut and fitted to a small model. The tools of the young designer are the same as those used throughout the garment industry. Designing, cutting, finishing. The student gets a comprehensive education in clothing construction. Fashions for Milady. Originals are shown at an all-student fashion show attended by the leaders in the needle trades throughout the Middle West. And occasionally, student creations go into the commercial lines of manufacturers. Graduation day. The first phase of the artist's education is completed. He is truly at his commencement with his portfolio reflecting sound training in creative processes. Like others who have attended the school, such as John Falter, Walt Disney, and Daniel McMorris, he looks forward to success in his chosen field of art. <laughs>